Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the real flow for Cinema 4D plugin again, and uh, this time specifically the K Age Demon. So let's just set up our scene, let's get straight in. So I'm going to create a circle emitter which creates our scene tree. Uh, I'm just going to grab our emitter and move it up slightly. And I'm also going to go to the fluid and go to the display and I'm just going to whack up the particle size so it makes it easier for you guys to see. I'm also going to go to the scene dis uh, solver and in my GPU I'm going to be using the CUDA GPU and we're going to select our, our uh, default one there. Uh, threw me a bit because usually these are side by side so okay anyway so now we've got our particles being emitted and uh, we're going to need our demon so I'm going to go up to the real flow menu demon and then the KH demon so let's select it let's have a look let's just pull this out a little bit select the KH demon select the uh, KH tag, uh, tab and as always, we've got our linked fluids. Uh, we've only got one fluid in the scene, so RealFlow automatically dumps that in there. And then we've got these uh, settings at the bottom here, which is what I'm going to go through now. So life, it says one. So after this, uh, after this value, it will kill kill the uh, particles off. So this value actually represents seconds. So after one second, it will it will kill particles. So let's just let this run. There you can see it's killing them right here. After one second, they get killed off. If I crank this up to two, after two seconds, it gets killed off. And this can be 0.5 if you wanted it to be, so it'll kill it, kill particles off after half a second of being emitted. Uh, and now underneath that we've got this variation. I'm just going to put that back to one. Uh, we've got this variation So if you think the cutoff of where the particles are being killed is a little bit too harsh We can actually make that more varied. So let's just start with point one Didn't see too much change there. So let's just turn this to one actually So you can see that the blend of particles that are being killed and the particles that are staying on it is a little bit more subtle now uh, let's try 0.5 and see if that gives us yeah okay so you can see that some are being killed up here and some are being killed at the bottom there and if we uh, crank this up to 1.5 it makes that variation uh, 1.5 seconds in the positive so some will get killed off and uh, some will last all the way to this value I think you can even put negative values in as well so let's give that a go yeah, so some are getting killed off early. Oh. Mm, it's pretty much the same, actually. Yeah, it accepts both negative and positive. So the po the particles that were living to this point here are now being killed and vice versa. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that variation on one. Now, the last settings here uh, is a bit gutted, really. Um, we've got this value called split. So instead of deleting the particles, you can force the demon to create more particles at a certain life value. So the idea would be that um, if this is set to yes, so I'm just going to pause this a minute. So it's saying yes, instead of killing them, they're split. And then this child value here, it, it um, basically means that you can define the number of child particles to be created if split is set to yes. So for So if this is on... For every particle that was getting killed, it would split them into this many child particles. So you can have 15 child particles. But unfortunately, um, if we've got this split, set to split and set our value and then play it, not a lot's happening. They're just, uh, the particles are being destroyed. They're not creating new sub particles as they die which is what's meant to be happening and unfortunately that is because in the release notes you'll notice that the, one of the known bugs is split parameter does not work for kh and cage speed demons and that unfortunately applies to version one if you're using that or if you're using the beta of version two that's also still the case so that's why 
if you're playing around with this going, is there something I'm missing? Uh, does it work in conjunction with something else and I'm, I'm missing it? Uh, no, it's not your fault. It's a bug. So at the moment, you can just control how long the particles live for and kill them off based on time and, uh, you know, set this variation set in. This does nothing at present. If that changes, I'll update you guys. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, as always, check out the Digital Meat website, digitalmeat.uk. You can follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook. I'll put the links for that in the uh, description. And also join my Patreon, because that would really help me out. I'll, there'll be a link on screen at the end of the uh, tutorial. Okay, guys, that's it. Bye. Bye.